Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to Start Talking with Nick and Nicole. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, y'all? We are having another episode of Start Talking. We got to start talking, y'all. Especially if you don't have anyone to talk to. Or you, you just tired of talking to the same old people. You know, come talk to me. We can talk. We can talk. But, um... Today's topic is self-diagnosing. Have you ever self-diagnosed yourself as being, you know, something that, you know, you read up on, you haven't talked to a therapist or anybody, you just kind of Google your, you know, Google your symptoms and how you were feeling and you, uh, you came up on a condition that you felt that you had. Well, I have. I have, but well, well, to tell you the truth, someone did tell me this. Um, some somebody I didn't know. Don't judge y'all. Don't judge. I I had got uh like a one car reading from somebody, and they pretty much told me this was me. But I was like, what? Now, I don't see it, right? But now I see it. <laughs> it's crazy, though. But before we get into it, if you are new, make sure you subscribe. If you got something to say, comment down below. If you can relate, give the video a thumbs up. And if you know anyone that can benefit from my videos, share, share it out. Share it out. So, um... Today's topic, self-diagnose. Well, 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 well. If you do not know um, where I'm coming from or why I started start talking, go back to when I first started um, Vidmas, Vlogmas. And the first uh, episode, I tell you exactly um, why I started start talking. But um, basically, this is something that we really need. It's something that we really need. Forgive the lighting, y'all. I am doing this video before I go into work. I work overnight at Amazon. Three, right now we're on a five-day schedule. So you're going to have to forgive me. I was supposed to do Vidmas. I started out really good, really good. Had videos planned and everything. But they hit us with a five-day, 12-hour shift. And I was a tie. I was a tie, y'all. So I can't get I can't get these videos out. But as soon as we go back to three days, because my normal shift is three days. Working on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, and um, but for the holidays, they call it the peak season. For the holiday peak season, they added they added one day, but then they came back for two weeks, these two weeks in the summer, and added another day, which put us at five days a week working twelve hours. And as a tad, y'all, as a tad, <laughs> on my day off, I am in the bed. I am in the bed, and I don't get up unless I gotta go to the bathroom, take me a shower or go some get something to eat and normally I don't I don't eat nothing which I you know that ain't that ain't cool to do cuz you you need to eat and stay hydrated and um I well I stay hydrated cuz I drink water all day um but I need to eat I need to eat and eat healthier you know not any junk food like I've been eating you know fast and stuff but that's going to be another 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 topic because i will be starting a weight loss journey 
come next year, which is in what two weeks? We got um about two more weeks for the new year, y'all. Can't believe it, man. This year, this year, this month has woo, flew past, flew fast. But we in there, we in there. So starting um when I go back to my three days, which is the last week of this month, start expecting um more vlogs, more videos, and just uh, basically a new transformation of me. New transformation, new lifestyle, new everything. Well, but anyway, let's get into this topic. Self-diagnosing. Okay, so this person that I got this one card reading from, she gave me this one card reading and I didn't know her from Adam. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she told me that I had codependency issues. And at first I'm like, what she mean? No, you know, no. For first I had to look it up, tell you the truth. I ain't gonna front, I ain't gonna cap. I had to look it up. What you mean by co codependency? What that mean? So when I looked it up, I read it, and um, I was like, "Really? Never noticed that." Cause I was all I have always considered myself um, independent, you know, and, and 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 you know wanting more for myself and to do more for myself, and not saying that I didn't need anybody. It just wasn't. A priority, a prior, it just wasn't a priority to um, have someone in my life, you know. So, um, and now this was, I'm gonna say maybe, maybe about three years ago when I got that one card reading. It was before um, the 19. I know that it was before the 19. So, anyway, you know, I got a card reading. I heard what she had to say, and, 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 you know, that was it. So, my fiance passed away last year. And if you don't know that story, like I said, go back and look at the first episode of Start Talking with Nick and Nicole. And I, I lay it out all in there. So you know where these are, um, these talks are stemming from. Um, so anyway, I realized within this year that she's gone, how much I needed to be with somebody, not per se in a relationship, just be around someone to be in attendance with someone to just be living with someone i realized that and and the girl was right the girl was right because i realized that in a nutshell i'm scared to be alone i'm scared to be alone and and just by seeing me if you knew me um and seeing me how I move and my personality and you wouldn't you wouldn't think that, you know, as far as you know, me growing up or whatever, you wouldn't think that. But it's true. Um I got code and codependency issues, y'all. And that is something that I am going to be working on as this new journey this new life transformation is you know happening for me i'm going to be working on this um because when i like i said in another video you got to go back and watch the other videos but i'm gonna tell you this quick i am 48 years old and i have never been alone i mean as far as Living with my mom young, having a child young, so I wasn't alone because I had a child. 
in relationships um with my baby daddy we lived together for a year but i always had my daughter so um and i was in um you know some more relationships um one you know i moved with and one i one i didn't move with one i did move with was was which was my fiance that passed away lived with her for um 11 years and i realized i do have codependency issues I, i'm i'm like scared to be alone or scared to live alone you know cuz it's it's like i wonder you know wonder what's going to happen to me um am i going to be a cat lady um <coughs> am i going to be a person who passes away by their by themselves you know you some people they don't have anybody so they end up passing away alone you know what i'm saying they don't have nobody there with them in the house with them Am I just going to be, you know, I wonder about myself. Am I just going to be this, this, this person who, um, just, you know, with every single noise I hear, I get, you know, nervous or if I see a bug or something that I don't like, nobody's there to, you know, to get it, get it for me or, you know. I just wonder, and, and I'm like I don't say, I'm 48 years old, y'all, and it, it doesn't matter what age, you know, I'm I'm happy and I applaud the people who um who find themselves and and know exactly who they are at early in age. I applaud them, but some of us we find out late. <laughs> and I'm I have I'm I'm of a late bloomer. Like I said, you would you can't tell, you can't tell this, but um I'm finding things out about myself that I either I knew and just was like, no, nah, that that ain't it, that ain't it. Or, you know, I'm finding things out that I didn't know about myself. But um but codependent, I never thought I was codependent. Never thought. But like I said, that girl told me she's like I got codependency issues, and she said you need to you need to pretty much get rid of that. But I was like, I don't know what she mean by that. So no, that ain't that ain't true about me. And then I'm you know I'm I, when I read the definition of codependency, I'm like man, if that ain't the definition of me right now. And then you wonder, have you ever been that your whole life, you know? So, y'all, it's just, it, this is a new journey for me. And it's a new um, life transformation of me finding myself and um, finding who I am. And, you know, it's just, it's hard. It's hard to do. Um, because I, I feel, see right now, I told you in another vlog, so go back and look at all the vlogs. Just go back and look at all the vlogs and, um, not the vlog, they videos of, um, start talking. It's, it's only two. I got two so far. This makes my third one. Um, go back and look at those and then you can come back and look at this one. But, um, I live with my mom now. I live with my mom and um I make you know sometimes you make excuses and I I realized to myself that you know I may have made excuse as to why I'm back living with her you know even though you know she was like when my fiance passed away she was like if I needed to come home to um you know she she you know I could come back home and that wasn't an excuse of um, being scared to live alone. I mean, it's part of it, but it wasn't full blown. For one, I'm not financially stable enough to move on my own. And my credit is not 
It's not, I'm going to be transparent and honest. My credit is not um, good at all. I messed up my credit. So, but I do realize that as I'm living with my mom, it's much easier. So, so you know, it's much easier and it's much more comforting. For one, you know, knowing that I don't have all the bills to pay. Um, knowing that I'm not in a house by myself, you know. Um, even, you know, even though when I'm in a house, the doors are locked, the windows are locked, um, and everything. Still knowing somebody's in the house with you is comforting. It's comforting. Um, it's not a lot of responsibility when you're living with someone. Especially if, you know, it's your mom or it's somebody's a breadwinner or or the breadwinner in your household and you not. <laughs> but, um, and I just recently got this job at Amazon it's only been a month. Um, so it was like, you know, for that whole time, I mean, I was working, I was dashing and, um, I did start driving, um, delivering packages for Amazon, but now I'm working in the, uh, fulfillment center where I pack the packages. But, um, I did, I was dashing and, um, I did start like in sometime in the summer time, I started driving for Amazon, but that wasn't any money and dashing. It, it's just, that wasn't hitting on it. And I got real complacent and comfortable with doing that. And pretty much my mom, she would take care of me. She was taking care of me, you know? I don't know why I keep putting this uh, and um it's some Vaseline um uh chapstick I got from the dollar dollar twenty five cents though. But um yeah she she's been taking care of me. But now that I'm working, I'm actually getting a steady paycheck. Um, you know, I'm, I can help her out. You know, get her, you know, some money every month for me living there also and you know in the process of same as working on myself to me being able to financially take care of myself and to financially live by myself and to not be codependent not you know I w it was like if i was you know in a relationship i got out of one and i get right back into another you know with less than you know, a month. That's like I was in before I met my fiance. I was in a ten year relationship, and after t you know when when we split, about a month or two, I was with my fiance for eleven. And we we was together for eleven years, so I don't know, y'all. I think you know. I, I'm, pre I'm pretty much the the definition of codependent. I'm defi definitely pretty much the definition of codependent. I have self diagnosed. I have self diagnosed myself as being a codependent person, and I'm and it is what it is. I'm not going to be ashamed of saying it. We're talking, you know, you're talking and getting this out. But, you know, you know, the thing is, I'm going to work on that. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I'm starting this YouTube. Hopefully this YouTube will get bigger and bigger. I'm working now. Hopefully I can keep this job going and going. Clear up my credit. And I can move out. Because some days I am ready to move out and on my own. Because my mom, <laughs> my mother always says, it's nothing like your own. It's nothing like your own. And, you know, it's crazy because I um I asked her. Now, my mama has stairs in the house. 
and I completely despise stairs. I hate stairs. It's because I'm tired, my fat legs, I'm heavy. Going up in the step, and it's 13 steps, y'all. 13 to 14 steps, I got to go up. I got bad knees up. Oh, now I'm going to turn the light off. Uh-oh. I got bad knees. I'm heavy. I be tired when I get off. My feet hurt. <laughs> I don't want to be going up them stairs. I don't want to be going up them stairs. So when I move, I am not getting in the stairs. Either you got to have to have an elevator in the, in the apartment complex or I'm staying on the first floor only. First floor only. I'm not walking up no more stairs. But anyway, I'm getting off to it. But I asked my mom. And she, she don't like the stairs either because she be tired too. But she she's active though. My mom is active. She get out almost every morning and, and go um, pick up, you know, trash around the neighborhood. So she gets her exercise on. She gets her walks on. Um, she walks down to the senior citizen, senior citizen um, center that's in our neighborhood. She walks down there sometimes, you know, which I need to do. I mean, just get out and walk, but... Anyway, I'm off subject, but she'd be like, she tired of the stairs, and I asked her, I asked her, I said, Mom, I said, you know, it's going to be a time to where I have to get out and get on my own and, um, you know, do what I need to do. Would you be willing to, you know, he, he go me with the codependency issues again. Will, will you come with me? Will you will you want to come live with me? She, nah, 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 ain't nothing like y'all. <laughs> so it's like I'm using the stairs. I was, I you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna need to have no stairs. You ain't gonna have no stairs because I ain't getting no stairs. I ain't, you know, I ain't walking up those stairs. So she be like, nah, 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 ain't nothing like your own. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I asked her twice already. I asked her twice already because within two years. By the time I turn, I'm 48. By the time I turn 50, 50, I'm hoping to be moved out of my mom's. And I told her that. But, um, yeah, she said, nah, nah, ain't nothing. Like and she's right. Ain't nothing like your own. Because you can do what you want. You can be what you, how you want. You know how they say you can walk around naked and everything by yourself um, with nobody there or whatever. Handle your business you know, on your own, but I'm going to ask her one more time. <laughs> I'm going to ask her one more time. Might, might get another year. Get, get a year before I ask her and see what she say. She, she come back. But then that won't, that won't be me um, transforming out of my codependency issues. So I don't know. I might ask her and I might not, you know, because actually uh, 20, 2023 is all about me finding myself and who I am and, you know, to learn to live by myself, learn to be on my own, you know, learn to help my own self. Why I keep putting on this Vaseline, y'all? <laughs> but so, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this topic. If you did and you got something to say, put it down in the comments. Let's chop it up. Um, I hope you enjoy. You are enjoying Start Talking um, because I will have, I plan, hopefully I plan to post every Sunday these talks I have. Um, if you have a subject you want to talk about, put in the comments. We can talk about it. Um, and just chop it up. You know, it's good. It's, it's, I started this because it's, it's good to get it out. You know, I don't want to continue to talk to the same people I've been talking to. I don't, I can't afford a therapist. I, I'm not going through a therapist. So, you know, I'm bringing it to the, to the channel. And so hopefully I get some feedback, um, on these, on these talks. So Stay tuned every Sunday. That's the plan now. That's the plan. Don't fault me if it don't happen. <laughs> don't fault me if it don't happen. But 
that's the plan to have a topic every Sunday posted on Star Talking with Nick and Nicole. So, if you self-diagnose yourself with anything, put it in the comments. Chop it up. Chop it up. All right, y'all. That's the. So, like I said, we gonna um, we gonna work on ourselves for next year, 2023. It's all about me. <laughs> all right, guys. So, as I said before in the beginning video, if you are new, make sure you subscribe. If you have something to say, comment down below. If you can relate, give the video a thumbs up. And um, if if you know anybody, anyone who can relate, I mean, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you know anyone who can relate to any of my videos, share the channel out, y'all. I would like to get at least 10 people before the end of the year. But if not, I'm going to keep going because this is something I'm passionate about and I want to do. So I'm going to continue to do it. All right, guys, until next time, y'all be safe and be blessed. And remember, start talking. Love y'all guys. Peace.